Okay, in this example, we'll take a look at uh, this particular op amp topology. Uh, we have a two volt source, uh, and the goal is to figure out what the V out is. Uh, again, uh, there's negative feedback. We'll assume this op amp is ideal, meaning no current goes through here uh, to the negative and the positive terminals, and also that the node VA and VB are at the same potential because of ideal op amp. Okay, now in this particular case, all right, let's start out by figuring out what VA is. And VA can be found out by using a voltage divider because this voltage right here gets divided between the 5 kilo ohm and the 10 kilo ohm resistor right here since no current actually goes through the uh, non-inverting end of the amplifier. So VA is basically 5 kilo ohms divided by 5 plus 10, which is 15 kilo ohms times 2 volts. Uh, so that basically gives us 10 over 15, in other, in other words, two-thirds of a volt. So VA is at two-thirds of a volt, and because of ideal op-amp, VA and VB are at the same node, so this node also is at two-thirds of a volt. Okay, so that is two-third of a volt. Now, well, let's draw the direction of current flowing and arbitrarily assign that as I1, and we'll call this I2. If I know do current law at B, node B, I get I1 current is equal to I2. I1 flows from ground, which is zero volts, oops, zero volts right here, zero volts right here, to VB. So zero minus VB divided by two kilo ohms. So in other words, 2000 ohms. Uh, and I2 is VB minus V out divided by 7 kilo ohms, so 7,000. So these zeros will all cancel out. So if we cross multiply, I get minus 7 VB equals 2 VB minus 2 V out. Uh, let's rearrange the terms. So we get 2 V out equals 7 VB plus 2 VB. In other words, 9VB uh, is equal to 2V out. Therefore, V out equals 9 over 2 times VB. VB we calculate as 2 thirds of a volt. So 9 over 2 times 2 over 3. So we are left with V out equals 3 volts. So V out is calculated for this particular circuit as 3 volts.